Hi y'all, so we gotta whitewash our trees here. I live in Central California, and it's always a good idea to protect your plants from the sun, you know? So, in the past I've used um, latex, like watered down white paint, you know, whitewash. But um, I thought I'd try this Ivy Organics. It has uh, essential oils to help protect against insects and rodents. Plus, it, um, comes in another color besides white it has brown and I think gray so I thought well that would be nice not to have a bunch of white sticks all over my fruit forest here we'll do brown so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna mix it up and go around and paint all my newly planted trees all looks, right so <clears throat> okay let's open this these curious dogs hey give me my paintbrush get it hey bear Give me my paintbrush. <laughs> no. No. <sighs> Anyways. No. <laughs> Curious dogs. Curiosity killed the cat. You know that, right? <laughs> okay. So, let's open this up. It says to use what you need, right? And then if you don't use it, you freeze the rest. It'll last for uh, five years or two years in the freezer. So, or two weeks in the fridge. So it says to fill the top, fill near top. After adding all these, you fill near top with water. And if you were just to make a paste, it says do one fourth water for a paste. But I don't know who would just buy this for a paste here. So. As this, and um, we're gonna do half of it. Let's just do half. So we're gonna just do half of the oil and half of the powder, and then fill it halfway with water. And then we'll save the other half. We'll put it. We'll mix it in a different container. Okay. So we'll just do it in a different container. Let's go do that. All right. So we're in. We're here in my aquaponics area because it's in my porch right outside what I need to do and let's just do it here okay so we're gonna pour half of this bag do half of the bag and half the oil and then, to measure the water, we'll just do half a can of water. Because it said, if we were going to make it all, we would put all of it in here and all of this in here and then fill it to almost to the top. So that's easy. We'll just eyeball it. Just eyeball half. Where's a halfway mark here? Alright, so fold this in half. What's half of that? We will say half of that is about right here. Bam, right there. Compress it down. Um, so you gonna put a little dirt on there and mark it? Well, little aquaponic mud maybe? <laughs> there, that's halfway mark. <laughs> okay. It's not like baking. It doesn't have to be an exact baking science here. Okay, let's see. Oh, still not half. Let's see. A little bit more. Look at that. A little bit more. To my mud line. A little bit more. It tastes like lime. I'm pretty sure it's a lime wash. Which I probably could make my own here. I can taste the dust in the air. 
I'm sure it has like some, there we go. Does that look like half to you? Oh, I think that's half. That's about half. So this is, this is a very full bottle of essential oils. So we will do half. We know what half a bottle looks like. There, there. We got half a bottle of essential oils in there. Okay. Now, let's do half a can of water. Let's see. Does that look like a half a can of water to you? That looks about a half a can. A little bit more there. Half a can of water. All right. Let's put it in and mix it with our paintbrush here. I'll use the end of the paintbrush. It stinks. It's stinky. Let's stir it all up. It makes a lot of paint. I'm glad I only did half because these are tiny trees. This is expensive. It's 30 bucks on Amazon. I don't know how much it would be anywhere else. $30 and change. The water. It's repelling the water. It's like no water. Doesn't it have a very good essential oil smell? It gets us the point though, huh? Repelling rodents. Hopefully the dogs are trying to chew the trees, so hopefully they won't chew on the trees now. I've had to put branches of tree limbs that I cut down around my trees to protect them. I don't know why they want to chew on trees, and then Boots keeps on trying to pee on them. doesn't want to mix. Let's try the actual brush. It's like, no, nope, we don't want to mix in the water here. Probably best if you mix it in the can, you can shake the can up. Man, this water's like, no. This powder's like, no. We don't want to mix you up here. <clears throat> there, now it's good where I could stir it a bit. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> Gosh, it's taking such a long time to mix it. I put a little less than half of the can because I figured this stuff would take up mass in the can as well, you know? It's like really gritty. I don't know. I don't know about this stuff here. Is it supposed to look like paint? Let's stab it with the brush. Stab it. Alright, let's go paint. Let's go paint the trees with this grittiness. Okay. Alright, let's go paint here. Alright, so we got this tree. Try painting this tree right here. That seems to be needing some no. No. Some sunscreen protection here. No, no, no. Don't you dare smell this. No. 
Oh. Dogs want to no. Get it off your ear. No. 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 Ah. Uh -uh. No. These dogs. And... No. All right. Let's see if this helps them. Let's see if this helps the dang tree. No. There we go. As much as we can here. There we go. Alright, it's brown. Next one. Stop trying to eat the stuff. These dogs. Alright. So I'm going to have to put the camera away because these dogs want to make it hard for me to do things so i'll just i'll film me from far away doing all these trees right here let's see is that good is that good there we go um. trees with the half a can but actually I would have some left over but my little girl Ripley Robin or Robin Ripley she decided to I put it on the ground it's, it's my fault and she pawed it and it bloop, in a good fourth a cup or so probably spilt out so I would have a lot, you know, about a fourth a cup or so left. And I, if that was the case, I would have put it in the freezer. But yeah, half a can does a lot of trees. So, I would just do small amounts. Half of that, I'd do like a fourth of it next time only. Um, because I even double coated a lot of these trees. So, hopefully it works. Only time will tell, but they all are look brown, not white. See? You can see them all. The stumps, you don't see any white. They're all done. Over here. And then, that's my rabbit hutch. I gotta fix the roof. And then all these ones over here. I got browned, browned wash. <laughs> so, that's how you uh, protect your trees from sun exposure and bug damage. And um, that's about it. I don't have nothing else to say. So we'll just talk to you later. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Peace. <laughs>